Hi everyone, in this uh, session we will discuss about interrupt. So what is an interrupt? An interrupt is nothing but an interrupt is a signal. An interrupt is a signal sent by the I.O. devices. So if you see when the CPU is busy in execution or busy in executing some process okay so it gets a signal so so the CPU gets a signal from the I.O. devices Hi everyone, in this session we will discuss about interrupt. So what exactly is an interrupt? An interrupt is nothing but an interrupt is a signal sent by the I.O. devices. So if CPU is busy in executing some process, okay, so it gets a signal by the I.O. devices. So that signal we simply call it as interrupt. So what the signal indicates, the signal indicates to execute that task first before executing, before completing the execution of this process. So, so see here, an interrupt is an event that, alt that alters the normal execution flow of a program. See, CPU is executing this process. CPU is executing a process P1. Okay. Meanwhile, an interrupt has occurred. An interrupt has occurred. An interrupt is nothing but it's a signal sent by the I/O devices. Okay. So, so what we do is again these interrupts may be of different varieties. Suppose if an interrupt occurs, what what will happen is now CPU will stop executing this process P1 and it will go for handling this interrupt. Interrupt. Let us suppose this interrupt is A. So while handling this interrupt A, now CPU is executing interrupt A. So while uh, executing this interrupt A, meanwhile if another interrupt occurs, another interrupt B occurs, what uh, what will happen is CPU will check whether this interrupt or this interrupt which one is having highest priority. So the interrupt which is having highest priority will be executed first. Okay. Suppose if B is having highest priority, so CPU will execute interrupt B. So after that again it will continue with interrupt A and after completion of executing both the interrupts, again the CPU will continue its process. Okay. So the interrupts are of two categories. One is synchronous and the other is asynchronous. Synchronous is nothing but, so this is generated by executing an instruction. Okay. Whereas asynchronous is nothing but this is an interrupt occurred by the external external devices. Okay, so this is about interrupt. Hope you have understood. So for clear understanding, we will see what is an interrupt. So CPU is executing a process. Okay, it is executing a process. This is the normal event. Okay, let us suppose inside the main memory. Let us suppose if we have different processes let us suppose p1 p2 p3 p4 cpu is executing a process p1 let us suppose it is executing process p1 after completion of its execution it will go for p2 next p3 next p4 this is what happens in the normal flow of execution suppose now if an interrupt occurs interrupt is nothing but interrupt is a signal sent by the io devices So because of this interrupt, what will happen is, let us suppose this interrupt is, this is interrupt A. This is interrupt A. Because of this interrupt, what will happen is, CPU will stop executing this process P1. Okay, it will keep this process P1 in hold. Let us suppose it will keep that in a stack. Process P1 will be kept in a stack. Now CPU will start executing this interrupt A. Okay. While handling this interrupt, okay, while handling this interrupt, normally what happens is CPU will handle this interrupt. After completion of this interrupt, again 
CPU will go back to the process P1 and it will continue its execution. Okay, that is normal what happens. Suppose if another interrupt occurs, when CPU is handling this interrupt A, if another interrupt, another interrupt B occurs, now what will happen is, so normally CPU will check which interrupt is having highest priority. Let us suppose if process B is having highest priority, now what will happen is, CPU will push this interrupt again to the stack. So this is interrupt A, interrupt A. Now CPU will uh, start executing or it will start handling interrupt to B. So interrupt to B will be executed. After that again it will go to the stack. You know stack, uh, when we want to pop, no, the top of the stack will be popped. So now instruction A will be popped. Now, uh, sorry, interrupt A. Interrupt A will be popped and CPU will uh, start executing interrupt A. And after completing the execution of uh, interrupt A, again CPU will go back to the normal process that is process P1 and it will continue its execution. This is what happens inside an, uh, inside the system Okay, when an interrupt takes place. Okay. So the interrupts are of two types, one is synchronous interrupt and the other is asynchronous. Synchronous interrupt is generated by executing an instruction whereas asynchronous interrupt takes place um, due to external event or external devices. Okay. Right? So with this we will so we'll wind up the interrupt topic. Thank you.